Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is part 17 of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, I ranted, raved about the music. In this episode, we're going... Has it changed? No, it hasn't changed. It's still Route 113. We're going to the left. So, I lied. So I would show this battle. She had not anybody interesting. What I did want to say was she's a cool trainer. You can tell by her red outfit and black belt she has on her jacket or something. And the guy down there, down like there, was a cool trainer. Uh, it's kind of cool. They have really diverse Pokemon. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done talking. They have really diverse Pokemon. Uh, you'll normally find, like, fire, water, and grass. So it's kind of cool. They are some of the more challenging trainers in the game. But, without further ado, I'm going to step into Route 113. I'm not going to say anything. Because just, just listen. Just listen. You know how it goes. You know the drill at this point. So just listen. Three, two, go. Listen. Just listen. Tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me that's not the most beautiful music you have ever heard from a Pokemon game. And listen to the wah wah right here, right here. Tell me that's not amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is the best music in the whole game. The best music in the whole game. I'm not even kidding. I would stay here. This is going to be the whole episode. I'm just going to stand here. I'm going to be like, yo, listen to this music. It's crazy. All right, we're going to use uh, Repel. Actually, no. We'll, we'll go a few steps without Repel. So the gimmick of this is it's volcanic ash. It's not snow. It's volcanic ash. And then the saviors will turn to ash or something. But you step through the grass and it turns it back to gray and green. Uh, so you can collect that ash. And you can yeah, you can get that ash, though. Get that ash. <laughs> um, you can collect the ash and you can use it to build things. I might actually do that because I can fast forward through the grass and get hella grass in a really short time. So... I might do that, but um, here we have Spinda. It's like the trademark Pokemon of this route. I think it's gone insane because of all the toxic ash it's inhaled. So uh, that's that's a shame because it's kind of kooky. But we'll we'll catch it. I also want to say, in between episodes, I leveled up. Um, Gulpin here, Arizona tried to learn Encore, and I said no, that move sucks, so we didn't learn it. I leveled up. I think Bran, my Marsh Top, leveled up a little bit, and uh, I caught three Pokemon cart Slugma. And then I caught its poison counterpart Grimer, and then I caught freaking Torkoal too. And that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, we caught. That's basically all. Okay, we're we're putting a repel. We're putting a repel on. We're putting a repel on because that's all you want to see here. I think there's sh Sand Shrews here too, which is really weird Pokemon. I mean, it fits, but it's a weird Pokemon to bring back from a past generation. I guess it's just kind of not important. But uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do uh, repel. And there's actually a pretty cool gimmick. It's fun walking through the volcanoes, ashes on the gr and ashes on the ground and grass. You can see where you walked. It's really neat. Okay, guy, that's that's, that's great. Um, I don't want to fight you. There's a ninja boy. <laughs> he's hiding in dirt. You can't tell, but he's hiding. I'm gonna get the items off screen because I don't want to waste my repel. Cool trainer Vicky over here. Cool trainer Vicky. Do I want to fight the double battle? I'll fight the double battle. I'll fight the I'll fight the dubs. I'll fight the now. I'll fight the ball screen. Nobody has anybody interesting. So honestly, that's why I'm not doing this crap. Uh, let's take this though. I just want to listen to this really, really amazing music. And go. And sadly, this is the only place in the game where the ash has this effect. Like this, this is the only place in the game with this. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you can make it in the glass. There's another ninja boy. So we'll go in here. This is the glass guy. This area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff puff. I'm especially gifted. Huff puff. I make glass out of volcanic ash and make items. Huff puff. Yo, his throat must be crazy gruff. Like, yo, his voice, he must, like, friggin' being like, I don't even know. I don't know what I was gonna say. But yeah, he gives us a sack. He gives us a sack to put our gushy, our ash in. What was I gonna say? Huff puff, huff puff. That's cool. Um, his son's doing it. Everybody, everybody's doing it. Um, let's see. Repel? Repel that thing. Put a repel on that thing. And we're almost actually done with this route. These guys have items in them, so I'll pick those up. TM32 double team. That's actually kind of cool that that's there, but I'm never going to use it, so. And sneak this you. Say goodbye, because I think in, I think in Emerald, excuse me, in Emerald, there are two guys running like this back and forth, and you can kind of avoid them or get into a double battle or something like that. I think they're here. But anyway, here we are. Fall Arbor, Fall Arbor Town. Fall Arbor Town. 
Say it with me. Fall Arbor Town. See? Take a look. This is my precious Azuro. It's slick and smooth and plushy too. <laughs> it's slick and smooth and plushy too. You do know this is a kid's game. Maybe it's because I'm not a kid. Whatever. I saw a shady fellow scuttling in and out of Professor Cosmo's lab. There's another professor in the game. I never even realized that. There's another professor. This man has a PhD. There's another PhD graduate in this game. That's crazy. That's actually dope. Let's go here. Never thought of it that way. Oh, it's the chick. It's the chick. We have to go talk to her. because She's in my freaking way. Maybe it would help, though, if she turned the computer screen on. I mean, I think that might be why she's having difficulties and has been there so long. Because uh, you can't use a computer if the screen... I mean, you could. But uh, let's see. Oh, hello. You are? Okay, so your name's Bran. I can see that you're a trainer. <laughs> so that means you use the Pokemon story system I've developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is simple. To okay, you're one of those smarty pants. You're one of those smarty pants. Get out the way, Lynette. I already spoiled the name for them, like, in episode three. So I'm not, I don't have to visit you, because you're a chump sucker. She's a freaking hoarder, and she sucks. So, there. Bill's the goat. So let me show you the guys I caught. I caught Torque. I caught, ah, Grimer, and I, taught, I caught Spinda, and I caught, boo, Slugma. So there you go. Kind of cool. I thought about using Slugma, but I was like, no, Slugma sucks, so screw you, Slugma. In the fields of Oliver, we plant seedlings of hardy trees that thrive even in volcanic ash. Yeah, that's right. So it's kind of cool. They have their own little infrastructure, even though it doesn't work out um, like a normal town, I guess. But Fallover Town is cool music, I think. It's really quaint. Like, listen, just listen, just listen, come on, just listen. And then eventually crescendos. Listen for that, listen for that. I think it does, at least, I don't know. Um, let's talk to you, did I talk to you already? No, I haven't fought Channery, Flannery. Um, I talked to you. Move to this house. Oh, this is the best part. Yo, know, they must have had so much fun making this music. This music is amazing, let's go in here. Yeah, what's your name? That's not Lynette, that's some other lady. Oh, it's Professor Cosmo. This is where he lives, in that little square room that they call his lab. I think that's his lab. I think that's supposed to be his lab. I'm not sure. But you can see the meteor craters. Like, that's kind of cool, because this game has a crazy, like, connection with space and all that. It, it, this game is pretty dope. This game, this game is pretty awesome. What do you have to say, fatty? Oh, I'm sorry, that was mean. He's just big bounded. Um, heart scale. I don't have a heart scale, so screw you. He's a move tutor. I don't think that's the move we learn. I think he can teach you. I don't actually know what he can teach you. He might be able to teach you stuff that you don't know. And let's talk to you, little goober. <clears throat> My big brother's a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He he loves digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. Stanley Yelnats. TM28. I got digs for talking to that little boy. That's great. Um, I don't want to look at that. Let's go through though. You can't run though, because technically you're still in the house. But look at the gradient, like friggin' textures here, that's kinda cool. What do you have to say to What do you have to say? Fossil Maniac, nice guy. Fossils, um... Okay, so he has really no purpose in this game other than to tell you you can get a fossil in the desert, which, kinda cool. There are fossils in this game, there's two. I'll probably take, uh, Cray Dilly, cause I normally take the other guy, and I'm like, let's say Cray Dilly. Let's talk to this guy, you get Roar. Yeah, take the TM. I mean, you already learned it, so you're kind of screwed, B. You're kind of screwed, old man. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take Cradle. You can only get one, like, in all the other games, so that's a shame, but, you know. Let's, uh, let's go down this way. Uh, do you, you don't move, okay. You move, though. I don't want to fight you. I have no wish to fight ya! Uh, that's Lynette's house. I'll talk to her. I'll go talk to her. Oh, what, B? I did not even, I did not even go into your line of sight, though. I told you, campers are easily the most annoying trainers in the game, because they don't even have, like, good Pokemon, but they don't have Pokemon you can one-shot. Like, who has an Electric-type at this point? I mean, maybe you got an Electric, maybe you got a Magneton, but really, you probably don't have an Electric-type, so that means you're screwed. You are S-O-L. Sucking on lollipops. Um, let's go here to Chubbs, even though that won't make a hill of beans of difference. <clears throat> Defense girl is OP, I guess. Not really, but uh, sucks. It takes it just it takes forever now. Like you're not. I need I need something. I need something. Do I have a grass type on my team? I don't even know. I don't even. Who's in my sixth spot? I don't even know. I don't even know. Dude. Nancy Lombre. 
<laughs> it's that Pokemon that uh, Brock had. It's kind of funny. I love how they're like Fiesta theme. <laughs> like Lotad is just a regular like w lily pad. Like he's just a generic lily pad, and then you get Lombre, and he like immediately becomes a freaking mariachi with his little top hat, and then freaking I don't know the other guy. What's his? What's the next guy? I don't even know his name. What's the next guy's name? But that guy, Ludicolo. Like what the crap is a Ludicolo? But he turns it, he's like a freaking super mariachi. It's so dumb. Hey, you can catch some cool Pokemon over here. As we will see, because I didn't put a repel on. Swablu. I should use a Swablu. Swablu. A cotton swab. Q-tip. I'm going to catch you a name. Q-tip. I didn't want to poison him. I didn't, I didn't want to poison him. I wanted to use Sludge, but my, uh, my, my control stick did not do what I asked it to do. Hurt by the poison. Hurt by the burn. Uh, pound? Pound that thing. That's not good enough. That's not good enough, B. I mean, it's good enough. I didn't want to kill it, but, uh, yeah, one more. So, Swablu, Swablu evolves into Altaria, and Altaria is possibly one of the goats. Um, he's a flying dragon. This is just normal flying, which kind of sucks. It would be neat if he was a uh, flying type. I mean, a dragon type at this point, but he's not. But Altaria is, so it's kind of cool. He uh, learns like Dragon Breath, which sucks. It's only like 35 power, but it paralyzes sometimes, so that's nice. Um, I've used the Altaria before; they're kind of neat, but I prefer Flygon, honestly. So, if it weren't for me being so set on using Trapinch and Flygon, then uh, I would use a Swablu. But uh, we will see a Swablu later in the game. And Snoopy Whoop. I think you can also catch like the token snake Pokemon. Do you give me an Eevee? Is that an Eevee on your desk? No, you give me a low tide doll. This is why she sucks. Th look at this. Look at her. Look at this. She has like five, six computers. She has six computers. Isn't doing any work. Cup of coffee that's probably like 18 days old. Sucker has a Pokemon. Doesn't even know how to battle. Like, Sucker doesn't even know how to. Why do you have a Pokeball? You don't even know how to battle, B. And then you don't even give me the Eve. Get that mess out of here. Where's Bill? Where's Bill? Show, show me where Bill's office is, because that's what's up. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, dude. I'm gathering berries. <laughs> Sucker, you need to do a lot more than gather berries. <laughs> Go catch a Pokemon. How about that? Um, good luck to me, too. Good luck to you. Something else. I don't know what to say. Um, sneak this. Okay, we're good. And actually, let's go north because I have a Tracer! And Tracer knows Rock Smash! So we will uh, smash that thing. What do we got? Protein. Protein. Yeah, I want to keep going. I'm like episode 17. I'm, I'm in. I'm going in on this game. But uh, is he a Kendla? I don't know if he's a Kendla. Oh, but he's uh, he's he's circling. He's circling. He's circling. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, yo, that was sneak. That was slick. That was slick. Yo, he scoped me so far off screen. He caught me. He dragged me. You're late. Yo, you're late. <laughs> there you go. I I echoed it for you, B. I echoed it for you, guy. I need to stop saying B. I just say it too much now. I think it's because like I always refer to myself in the second person, the third person. So then I just started saying it in general because my name is Brandon. So I'm like, yo, what's good, B? And then like, yo, that's just the whole thing. Now I have to go into that. I don't want to do that. I, I was gonna do it, but I'm not gonna go into it. I was gonna go into stories, but I can't go into stories. Not that story, at least. Not that story. Oh my God! Why do you suck, Goldpin? You suck so much. You suck so much. He used to suck eggs. <laughs> like what? Yo, SpongeBob is the best show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use Brand. Cause I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I mean, I have plenty of time. I have all the time in the world. I think. Last time I checked my watch, it said all the time in the world left. Well, there you go. Like, come on. I mean, I would love to have, like, a hard mode in a Pokemon game. I really would. Because, what would that be like? Would you, like, die on every freaking boss battle? Would you die on regular noobs like Lenny? <laughs> would you die on regular noobs like Lenny? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Can I take you out tonight? There's a secret base. Let's actually check this one. Because I'm kind of curious. Whenever they hide them, like, the ones that you can find that you don't have... I was going to say, I thought there was a battle in there. Um, the ones you can, you have, like, they don't hide, and they're just kind of out there, aren't that big a deal. They probably, they normally just suck, but, uh, the ones you have to actually work for, 
are dope. Like this one is a U shape. So we're actually not going to make our base here. Because that is so pointless. I like the big... And then you got to do this every time. Nah, that sucks. That sucks. That's a terrible decision. Terrible game design. 1 out of 10. Do not want. Alright, here we go. Meteor Falls. I don't think... Okay, this this also has some of the best music in the game. This is like the most ethereal track in the whole game. Listen to this, just listen. Just listen. That's so good, right? That's so good, right? Full heal? We take those. We take those. I'm pretty sure that's like a moonstone. Um, but that is gonna be into this episode. In the next episode, I think we have to come here. I don't know if I actually initiated story things that happen here, but uh, in the next episode we will go down and to the left and hopefully have story related stuff for the first time in like two episodes. So uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. This music is great. I love this.